introducing the new Lego Harry Potter Flying Ford Anglia or Anglia. I'm not sure exactly how to say that. Set number 76424. This set is going to be released on March 1st, 2024 at a price tag of $15. For those of you that are new here, please slap that subscribe button. And before y'all ask, I picked this set up at Kohl's early um, and I was happy to have it because it was a car. I don't do a ton with uh, Harry Potter on the channel, but I have a ton of other Lego reviews. And check out Ron Weasley. This minifigure looks really, really good. And his rat, his pet rat, I looked him up. His name is Scabbers. Looks pretty cool as well. Again, I don't do a ton of Harry Potter on the channel, but here and there I find a cool set and I review them because why not? If it's a cool Lego set and it's priced right, I'll pick it up and give it a chance. And here's Harry Potter. Um, the legs are short on these characters, which always throws me off. Look at that torso printing, though. Looks really, really nice. So this is a really cool minifigure, that's for sure. We'll check out. He even has the scar up there. Uh, I've read the first four, book, first four books of Harry Potter. I just haven't had a chance to watch all the movies and get through all of the books. So I guess I'm in for a treat at some point in time. And here's Hedwig, uh, Harry Potter's Al, and he also looks pretty good as well. Uh, I always like when you get these little bonus figures here, and this one looks really, really good. And now we will move on to the car. Now taking a look at the car. Now the car is the reason I bought this set. I like the fact that it was pretty much just the car and no other builds. Uh, I'm a huge fan of sets that have just one build without a lot of extras that you have to keep track of. And I really, really like this like light blue color. Uh, the doors open up here and for $15, I think this is a, a really cool set. Two minifigures, $15. This is a sticker on the back, by the way. And this is a pretty cool looking build. Uh, I plan on putting it with my other Speed Champions cars. I know this isn't Speed Champions set, but it gave me that like Speed Champions vibe, just not in a sports car. Um, and overall, I think it's a pretty nice build. Check out the front end of this thing. It looks pretty good. That's also a sticker there on the front, just so you are aware. I always point out the stickers in my reviews just because I find that to be important. And the trunk does open up here, and a little briefcase pops out of the back. It's just a briefcase that just moves around. So... What do you think about this car? Overall, I think it's a nice looking car and I'm happy to have it as part of my collection. Um, again, I don't do a ton of Harry Potter sets, but I saw this and I'm like, you know what? This looks like a cool build. I have to have it and get a review up on the channel. So thank you all for watching. Uh, again, if you're new here and made it this far, thank you. I appreciate your support and slap that subscribe button for more Lego reviews and daily Lego content. And I have the new Speed Champion sets up on the channel right now that come out March 1st as well as the, uh, some of the Star Wars ones as well. And as I get my hands on their sets, I'll be reviewing them as well.